Hey, did you know that products you use in your outdoor shower can have an impact on burning at bay? Well, believe it or not, ingredients in your soap and shampoo can have lasting effects on the waterways around you. Take a look at the soap I have here. There is actually an entire section dedicated to why this soap is good for our environment, so that makes identifying a brand as eco-friendly very easy. Similar to how a shopper will read the ingredients on the back of products they're considering purchasing, people who wish to reduce their impact on our oceans and bays will read the ingredients list on their soap or shampoo. Some important things to look out for on the labels of shampoos include phosphate, sodium phosphate, or chloride phosphate. These ingredients should be avoided, as they can be harmful for our bay. Come on, let's check out the effects of these chemicals. As you can see, I'm on the water that these phosphates run directly into. Phosphates cannot be filtered out properly by most water treatment facilities, so odds are that they have not been filtered out of your wastewater before it hits the water where you live, too. But what's the problem with phosphates in the water? They're natural anyway, right? Well, yes, but the natural process of phosphates getting into the water has been disrupted by us humans. Due to our usage of fertilizers, trash, dog waste, herbicides, pesticides, cleaning products, and now hygiene products, an overabundance of phosphates are making their way into the water, resulting in a larger number of phosphate-dependent organisms. These organisms include algae, which in large numbers are a critical problem for other sea life, as algae not only blocks sunlight from getting to plants and animals, but it also starves other animals of their oxygen. This process is called eutrophication. Eutrophication. We here at Save Burning at Bay are actively working to prevent this process from occurring, as eutrophication not only causes more algae to appear, but results in there being less fish diversity, which causes there to be less fish in the ecosystem, and in turn, less food for us to eat. But that's where you can make a difference. By simply purchasing shampoos and soaps that don't contain phosphates, you can do your part in not only saving burning at bay, but all waterfronts across the watershed. Check us out at www.savebarningatbay.org to learn more and see what you can do to get involved.